All right, guys, so 50 Cent, a.k.a. Curtis Jackson, came out in support of President Trump after seeing Biden's tax plan. He said, hell no. After <laughs> Joe Biden's tax plan is implemented, 50 Cent will be 20 cents. Hell, he might just be a nickel if Joe Biden gets his way with the tax plan that he's trying to implement. And honestly, guys, he has every right <laughs> as a top 1% earner in this country to be scared of the Joe Biden tax plan. In this one simple Instagram post, 50 Cent has demonstrated that the only race that matters is green. Whether you black or white, you should always strive to pay as little in taxes as possible. If there's nothing else you take away from this video, take that away. I'm going to break down the Joe Biden tax plan and what you need to know in the real deal holy field in terms of what the actual numbers are and how they actually work. Because a lot of people spread misinformation about uh, these tax plans because they don't understand how marginal tax rates work, okay? So there's a lot of misinformation being spread about this. I'm going to break it down and give you the real deal holy field on exactly what Joe Biden's plan is. But before we get into that, my name is Greg Foreman. You're watching a black concerted perspective. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black concerted perspective, aka a liberal's worst nightmare. You can also follow me on Twitter at GForemanBCP. Let's get it. All right, guys. So let's take a look at a video from CNBC that scared 50 Cent basically into voting for Trump. Under Vice President Biden's plan, people earning over $400,000 a year would pay combined federal and state income taxes of over 62%. Robert Frank is adding up all the increases and joins us uh, with what it means for high earners in certain states. I, that, was that a misprint? What, 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 what did I just say? I, I, I was just reading. 62% per, 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 Robert? <laughs> with headline numbers like that a, a lot of people are gonna stutter yeah joe let's let's look at that numbers now there were some nonpartisan studies out last week showing that biden's tax plan would indeed only raise taxes on those making four hundred thousand dollars or more and cut taxes on virtually everyone else but as you mentioned top earners in high tax states could face combined state and local rates of over 60 Two percent. So let's break that number down. Now, on the income side, on the federal side, there are two basic increase that increases that Biden is proposing. The first is a top rate going from 37 to 39.6 percent. All right, guys, what they mean by top rate is that that is the marginal tax rate, the top marginal tax rate. This is how marginal taxes work, guys. So marginal tax is the percentage you pay for every dollar you earn over a certain amount, right? So if you know you earn $10,000, the marginal rate on $10,000 may be 10%, which means you pay 10% on the first $10,000 that you make. And then maybe, maybe everything after that, up until $20,000, maybe the marginal rate, let's say is 12%, right? That means that every dollar you earn after $10,000, you're paying 12% on that, instead of 10%, but you still pay 10% on the first $10,000 that you made. But every dollar that you make after the $10,000, the first $10,000, you're now paying 12%. That is how marginal tax rates work, okay? So what that means, guys, is that you're not paying the whole 39.6%. That, that's, that's not how it works. All right, guys, take a look at this table real quick. And this table is going to uh, demonstrate what it, marginal tax rates actually look like and the effect of it here. And I'm sorry, I have to keep going over this, but a lot of people don't understand this concept. But if you look at the table here, guys, just pay attention to the bottom. Um, as you can see, that if you make $120,000, for example, your amount owed in taxes is going to be $38,000. That's with a top marginal rate of 50%, guys. Because as you can see in this table, the first 20000 or less than 20000 you made is taxed at 10%. Bam, you owe $2,000. Every dollar you make after 20000 20 to 40000 is now taxed at a marginal rate of 20%, which means 20% of $20,000 is 4000 And, you know, between the next $20,000, uh, $40,000 and $60,000 
it's taxed at 30 percent, which means you owe six thousand dollars on that next twenty thousand so as you guys can see once you get to the end all your income is added up you make one hundred twenty thousand. You paying thirty eight thousand, even if the top rate is over fifty percent. Okay, that's how it works. It still matters. It's still a big deal. Biden's still increasing taxes significantly on people that's earning more than four hundred thousand. Taxes are going up significantly. But I'm just outlining exactly what marginal tax rates look like so that you understand this stuff and that we're just more educated when we have these conversations. And then you've got the payroll tax of 12.4% applying to income over $400,000. So half of that payroll tax is paid by employers. So you add those two changes together and you get a new top federal rate of 45.8%. Then you add the net investment income tax and other provisions and you get a total top rate of 49.6%. So let's go to the state side. state side on top of that. If you live in California, that combined rate would go to 62.6%. New Jersey would be over 60%. New York State would jump to 58%. Not too bad, but New York City residents would see a combined state and federal rate of just over 62%. Now, with tax increases being proposed both in New York and California, those rates would likely go even higher. All right, guys. So as you can see here, that big number that is showing, 62.6%. Uh, if somebody tells you that if you make a million dollars and you're paying 62.6% uh, percent of that in taxes, that is a lie, guys. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100 with you. That's the maximum that you could pay on income that is earned in the top tax bracket. That means if the top bracket is $400,000, right? Everything you earn over $400,000 may be subject to that 62%. But everything under that is not going to get taxed at that rate. So that's not how it works. Now that we've went through that, let's actually look at the details of uh, Joe Biden's tax plan. We're going to hop over to the uh, CNBC article. So just for a quick second to let you guys know what really matters, guys, is the effective tax rate. That's what you are actually going to end up paying. Right. That's the effective tax rate. So under Biden's plan, the effective tax rate for the one top one percent would increase from uh, 26.8% to 39.8% according to the Tax Policy Center. That means top earners in California and New York City would pay effect would pay effective tax and federal tax rate at around 53% compared to, ref to roughly 40% they pay in effective uh, rates today. So that 53% is the real number, guys. So I'm assuming that they're not counting like deductions and things like that in this in this effective tax rate formula um that they're using um but you could see under biden's tax plan right like if you live in a city like new york city or a high tax state like california you could be paying up to half of your income in taxes right if, you, if there's no deductions at all that is ridiculous and obviously we can see on paper that's going to drive a lot of people like you've already seen uh, Joe Rogan move out of California. Ben Shapiro has moved out of California. You see a lot of people move out of New York right now. That's going to drive a lot of people out of these high tax states and these high tax cities, man. And this is this is going to destroy these high tax cities. I'm telling you, like a lot of these companies are going to move out. A lot of these high earning individuals are going to move out. A lot of states like Texas and Florida I'm going to get a lot more people coming in in the South that have lower taxes because, I mean, paying 53% of your income to the government, like, effectively is ridiculous. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. So Joe Biden's plan is, is I'm telling you, he's raising taxes on rich folks significantly. Don't get it twisted. This is a Bernie Sanders-style dream right here. I'm telling you. And I'm on Investopedia. And Investopedia, guys, is a great site if you want to learn about anything related to investing guys um if you want to learn the basics investopedia is the way to go if you want to learn anything about uh, personal finance taxes money markets anything investopedia is one of the best websites out there so we're getting our information from one of the best websites you can to explain this type of stuff and so the key takeaways i'm not gonna get going too much detail the top individual federal tax rate would rise from 37 percent to pre 
to the pre-Trump tax rate of 39.6%, just like they said in that video. The corporate uh, rate would rise from 21% to 28%. Uh, Joe Biden's already talked about that, which again, when these, when these taxes rise like this, guys, um, obviously a lot of you guys already know that's going to incentivize you know, wealthy people to move into uh, non-taxable funds and investment vehicles like uh, municipal bonds. Who knows? They may try to move a lot of their um, interests offshores, overseas, to try to avoid paying these uh, increased corporate tax rates. There's a lot of implications um, this could mean in, in terms of what corporations would do to respond to this type of uh, increase in tax rate. And especially a 15% alternative minimum tax would apply to corporate book income of $100 million and higher. This is a big deal, guys, because... Book income is different than taxable income. Taxable income is what you show what's actually taxable after you get rid of all the non-cash items and all that stuff. That what's actually what actually can be taxed. That's how a lot of companies get away with not paying taxes that they take out a lot of non-cash items that the IRS allows you to deduct. And then it looks like from a taxable income perspective, they're not making money when they actually are making money. Um, so that's a big deal. This is basically avoid companies paying zero in taxes they're gonna have to pay at least 15 percent if they have uh corporate income over 100 million dollars um if their book income is over 100 million dollars that is so that's a big deal uh raising the corporate tax rate and the applying that alternative minimum tax could uh adversely affect the market um you can see companies be less profitable which means their valuations may go lower which means that you could see your retirement accounts dip lower um and things of that nature so just keep that in mind raising those corporate tax rates may cause some uh adverse effects in the marketplace but like i said we just can't be sure um individuals earning four hundred thousand or more would pay additional payroll taxes again that's that uh, twelve point five percent ish that they talked about in the video that'll be s split between employers and the individuals. Um, that's they've already talked about in a video. So again, if you're earning over four hundred thousand, you're gonna pay more there. The maximum child and dependent tax credit will rise from three thousand to eight thousand, sixteen thousand more uh, than one uh, dependent. Tax relief uh, will be offered for student debt forgiveness, and the first time home buyers credit will be restored. Again, uh, that's self-explanatory. The state tax exemption would drop by 50%. So again, that's going to affect people that are subject to the uh, state tax. They're going to have less exemptions, obviously. I don't think this really matters that much because what rich people do with their state taxes, like they use so many sophisticated tools to avoid the state taxes. Like it doesn't really even matter to be quite honest with you. So I don't think that's really going to do much. And a big part of this that, a lot of people are not talking about and they need to be talking about. And this is a big deal in uh, financial services, which is step up in basis. So part of Biden's plan in, in reference to estate taxes is he's going to uh, repeal uh, the present law in step up basis. And what step up basis, guys, is it's basically how what we call the cost basis changes for securities Um when the original owner of the security passes away so what happens is, is that when you buy stock right what you buy that is the is the cost basis that how much it costs you to actually buy that cost basis is used to uh, uh, assess how many how much in taxes how many capital gain taxes you're going to owe once you eventually sell that stock so under the current law what happens is is that if you were to buy a stock at one dollar and it grew to $100, right? If it grows to $100 and you happen to die and you pass that down to a descendant, what happens is the cost basis steps up to $100 at that point. So if you would have sold the stock before you died, you would have had $99 in gains to actually pay, right? Capital gains to pay on that stock. However, because you die and you pass that stock down, to a descendant now the cost basis steps up to a hundred dollars and now let's say your descendant decided that they wanted to cash out of that stock they would not be subject to capital gains anymore because the cost basis is now 
stepped up to $100, which means that the, technically the cost of it is $100. And if you sell it immediately, then the market value of it is $100, which means no capital gains and you get all the proceeds from that. That is a big deal when we're talking about building generational wealth, guys. That's a huge deal. When people want to talk about building generational wealth, this um, this step up in basis rule really helps out because it helps reduce the amount of uh, capital gains taxes that you're subject to when you inherit securities from you know deceased relatives and whatnot. So that's a big deal, and he's trying to repeal that, which is going to affect everybody. It's going to affect everybody, guys. One thing I do want to show you guys real quick is an analysis from the taxfoundation.org um, in terms of what they think about um, Joe Biden's plan. Um, one key thing, a couple key things I want to look at here is that uh, Biden's plan would raise tax revenue by $3.05 trillion over the next decade on a conventional basis when accounting for macroeconomic feedback effects. The plan would, connect, would collect about $2.65 trillion the, over the next decade. This is lower than we originally estimated due to the revenue effects of the coronavirus pandemic and economic downturn and the new tax credit credit proposals introduced by the Biden campaign. Keep in mind, guys, our current deficit is $3.1 trillion. Again, that's how much money we're losing per year, to be exact. According to the Tax Foundation's general uh, equilibrium model, the Biden tax uh, plan would reduce GDP by 1.47% over the long term. On a conventional basis, the Biden tax plan by... Um, 2030 would lead to about 6.5% less uh, after tax income for the top 1% of tax players and about a 1.7% decline in after tax income for all tax payers on average. And this is a part of Biden's tax plan that I don't buy into that he's trying to sell to people. What he's trying to sell you is that he's only raising taxes on rich folks. And people that's making over $400,000 a year. I don't believe it, guys, for multiple reasons. One, because he's finding other little ways in his tax plan to still extract money out of the middle class. The step up in basis part is one of those uh, provisions that does that. And then on top of that, I don't believe that they can fund their progressive policies based off just increasing taxes on the rich right if they're trying to get universal health care green new deal universal child care jobs guarantee all that stuff they've been talking about guys they're going to have to raise taxes on the middle class the media is reporting on biden's plan as if he's not going to repeal the trump tax cuts he's only going to repeal the part that uh affects the marginal rate for high income earners and things that mainly affect the wealthy. But guys, I don't buy into that one second because Biden has said on multiple occasions that he is repealing all of the Trump tax cuts. He said it on multiple occasions. If he is repealing all the Trump tax cuts, if he was actually telling the truth, then by definition, everybody's taxes is going up for the most part, unless you're literally at, at the bottom of the income bracket. Trump lowered marginal rates for most of the tax brackets. If he repeals that, then the marginal rates are going up. And I believe I believe that he's leaving that part out on purpose. And I think that that's shady of him to do, especially considering that he said he was going to he was going to repeal all of Trump's tax cuts. Now the media is coming out and trying to frame it as if um, he's only repealing the parts that benefit the ultra rich. I don't buy it at all. I really don't. I don't buy it at all. By definition, in order for him not to raise taxes on the middle class, he cannot repeal the Trump, Trump tax cuts. He also needs to keep in mind that these tax cuts expire in uh, 2025. So he will also need to extend those tax cuts in order to keep his promise of not raising taxes if his administration happened to last for more than four years. So that's the catch 22, guys. So I don't think Biden's telling the whole truth about what his actual tax plan is, obviously. What I outlined for you guys is basically what the media is telling you, in my opinion, on what's actually going to happen. I think that he's definitely going to raise taxes on everybody. It's not just going to be people over $400,000, making over $400,000. In my opinion, that's just me personally. I just don't believe he can fund his progressive agenda without raising taxes on everybody. So 
Again, like 50 Cent, <laughs> if you don't want to be 20 Cent or you don't want to end up a nickel, even if you're not making $400,000 a year, do not vote for Biden if you don't want your taxes increased, guys. I'm telling you, the man is going to increase your taxes out the ass. I don't care what he says. I don't care how he frames it. I'm telling you. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.